And our word for today on this Wednesday of the first week in Ordinary Time, this Wednesday, January the 10th, our word for today is called. Called our word for today, our reading from the first book of Samuel, chapter 3. During the time young Samuel was ministered to the Lord under Eli, a revelation of the Lord was uncommon and vision infrequent. One day Eli was asleep in his usual place. His eyes had lately grown so weak that he could not see. The lamp of God was not yet extinguished, and Samuel was sleeping in the temple of the Lord where the ark of God was. The Lord called to Samuel, who answered, Here I am. Samuel ran to Eli and said, Here I am, you called me. I did not call you, Eli said, go back to sleep. So he went back to sleep. Again the Lord called Samuel, who rose and went to Eli. Here I am, he said, you called me. But Eli answered, I did not call you, my son. Go back to sleep. At that time, Samuel was unfamiliar with the Lord, because the Lord had not revealed anything to him as of yet. The Lord called Samuel again for the third time, getting up and going to Eli. He said, Here I am, you called me. Then Eli understood that the Lord God was calling the youth. So Eli said to Samuel, Go to sleep, and if you are called, reply, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. When Samuel went to sleep in his place, the Lord came and revealed his presence, calling out as before, Samuel, Samuel. Samuel answered, Speak, for your servant is listening. Samuel grew up, and the Lord was with him, not permitting any word of his to be without effect. Thus all Israel from Dan to Beersheba came to know that Samuel was an accredited prophet of the Lord. Our response Oriel Psalm Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. I have waited, waited for the Lord, and he stooped toward me and heard my cry. Bless the man who makes the Lord his trust, who turns not to idolatry, or to those who stray after falsehood. Sacrifice or oblation you wish not, but ears open to obedience you gave me. Burnt offerings or sin offerings you sought not. Then said I, Behold, I come. In the written scroll what is prescribed for me to do your will, O my God, is my delight, and your law is within my heart. I announced your justice in the vast assembly. I did not restrain my lips, as you know, O Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. Alleluia, alleluia. Our Holy Gospel from Mark. On leaving the synagogue, Jesus entered the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. Simon's mother-in-law lay sick with a fever. They immediately told him about her. He approached, grasped her hand, and helped her up. Then the fever left her, and she waited on them. When it was evening after sunset, they brought to him all who were ill or possessed by demons. The whole town was gathered at the door. He cured many who were sick with various diseases, and he drove out many demons not permitting them to speak, because they knew him. Rising very early before dawn, he left and went off to a deserted place where he prayed. Simon and those who were with him pursued him, and on finding him said, Everyone is looking for you. He told them, Let us go on to nearby villages, that I may preach there also. For this purpose have I come. So he went into their synagogues, preaching and driving out demons throughout the whole of Galilee. Hmm. And our word for today is called, called our word for today. Our Holy Father's thoughts regarding today's gospel reading. These he shared at his general audience on June the 15th, 2022. Simon's mother-in-law lay sick with a fever, writes Mark. We do not know if it was a mild ailment, but in old age, even a simple fever can be dangerous. When one is old, one is no longer in control of one's body. One has to learn to choose what to do and what not to do. The vigor of the body fails and abandons us, even though our hearts do not stop yearning. One must then learn to purify desire, be patient, and choose what to ask of the body and of life. And the special gentleness of Jesus who touched her hand and gently leaned over her clearly shows from the very beginning his special sensitivity toward the weak and the sick, which the Son of God had certainly learned from his mother. (laughs) I want to say that again, (laughs) because this is the money ball in all of this. And the special gentleness of Jesus, who touched her hand and gently leaned over her, clearly shows from the very beginning 
his special sensitivity towards the weak and the and the sick, which the Son of God had certainly learned from his mother. Boy, that just mm-hmm. puts a smile on my face. Please let us make sure that the elderly, that grandparents are close to children, to the young, to hand down this memory of life, to pass on this experience of life, this wisdom of life, to the extent to which we in- ensure that the young and the old are connected to this extent, there will be more hope for the future of our society. To the extent to which we ensure that the young and the old are connected, to this extent, there will be more hope for the future of our society. Called mm-hmm. our word for today. I want to go to the first book of the prophet Samuel, chapter 3. During the time young Samuel was ministered to the Lord under Eli, a revelation of the Lord was uncommon and vision infrequent. So there was no knowledge of this for young Samuel and barely any for Eli, right? It just said that there wasn't a a commonality of vision, that no messages were being passed down at this point. There wasn't this communication, this clear communication going on between God and one of his prophets and then the prophet passing on these words to the people. That just wasn't happening during this time. So the memory of that had really faded. And so as Samuel begins to respond to the invitation of the Lord, even Eli isn't familiar with what's going on. It takes him three tries before he finally gets it right and says, you know what, Samuel, I think the Lord is speaking to you. Now, I want to speak about this from Eli's point of view for just a second. Eli was the appointed prophet. He's not hearing from the Lord, and his sons are evil. The scripture says they are they are doing evil things among the people and none of them have been raised up to follow him. And he has been very lackadaisical with uh, with disciplining his children who are abusing the people. So he doesn't stand in a good place before the Lord. And yet he does have charge over young Samuel and the Lord still uses Eli to get Samuel ready. Samuel, in his response to the Lord, in his eagerness to serve, his eagerness to serve Eli, first and foremost, as he's coming to know the Lord, sets that pattern of obedience, sets that pattern of listening and observing that he might become a powerful prophet for the Lord God himself, which he does, a faithful prophet for the Lord. So often we are The Lord is calling us, but we're unable to figure out exactly what the Lord is saying to us. And then other times in our lives, we are in that same pattern that the people of God were in, that Eli was in at this point, of not hearing from the Lord. The Lord seems to be quiet, seems to be silent for a time. And then he presents himself again. We have to be patient. We have to know the voice of the Lord. We have to know what we are being called to do and when we are being called to do it and be faithful and patient to wait for the Lord, to wait for the Lord, to be observant, but to wait for the Lord and to know that he in his faithfulness will call us. I love this. I was at a church in Florida many, many years ago, and we were about to sing that uh, the Catholic song, I would say, Catholic song, Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Um, and uh, one of the verses in that is, I will go... Um, if you lead me. And the priest said, don't ever say that. In this church, we say, I will go where you lead me. There is no question as to whether or not God will lead us. Mm -hmm. He will lead us. We are called according to his purposes, and he will lead us if we are willing to follow him. There is no if about it. Uh, We, uh, if we are faithful, God will be faithful in speaking to us and leading us with clarity and with mercy, called our word for today. Mm.